Hey, what's going on guys? Global 5 here, uh, doing another case opening, this time for an extra booster, which we haven't done on this channel since English, uh, Love Live Sunshine extra booster, uh, like four years ago at this point, I think. So this will be interesting. I don't usually buy extra boosters, but Data Bullet uh, is here, and I do own it in Japanese. That's pretty fun. Keck. And then uh, this extra booster looks to kind of be its own thing, so it's going to be an interesting build. I'm kind of excited for it. I got a couple ideas for decks already that I've seen through the spoilers, but we're going to go ahead and open. We've already split these just because there's so many boxes uh, in extra boosters, so we've already split them. There is one SP and one OFR, I think is the other rarity. So uh, it's going to be really easy to figure out who uh, wins this one or ties it. And it'll be all your fault if I lose this time. Yeah, so uh, kind of unfortunate ratios. No box toppers uh, in extra boosters. So there's that. And uh, yeah. Wow, this foiling is actually really nice. Uh... Alright, so remember there's foils of cards in this, mm -hmm. so that'll be part of your, part of the thing. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, this foiling is uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, that's the double R foiling, look at that. And I didn't bring extra sleeves around, so we're going to have to go grab those real quick. Super prepared as always. But I think that, look at that foiling. Funky. Yeah. We, uh, we're we going to try uh, a choice as the starting deck. And it might do some of the um, green stuff as well. So, the question is, what kind of stuff from the old set, you know, are we keeping in there? Are you, why are you splitting them up like that? These uh, are just commons. Well, I don't know. <sighs> no, I'll just put them in separate piles. Uh, is there only two that. colors in this set? Yeah, two colors. That's crazy. Rares aren't foiled either, so. Uncommons are. No, like, like there's no like foiling in the rares. Oh, funky. So just be aware of that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. This is four piles. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a whole bunch. <laughs> it's gonna be a bunch of piles. I'm gonna I'm put these double R's here though. Look real good. So I forget like what the ratios are. I think you get like one play set of each, one foil, one non, and then I think you get like a smattering of other just random cards, I think. Uh, extra boosters, like I said, are so weird. I usually don't buy these, but... Oh, so so this is the double R non-foil. This is the SP we're trying to pull, the 3-2. Uh, so I guess I'll split that off. I like didn't really look at the art of the set, so I'm probably gonna be running slow looking at things. Two climaxes, interesting. These uh Boosters are real easy to go through. There's only six packs in them, even though you got 36 of them. There's only six compared to the typical Weiss one, which has eight, so. We'll see if this uh, goes faster or slower than um, a typical case opening video. That I'm kind of curious about. Well, in fact, there's only two colors, so already makes it quicker. Yeah. 
God, I love this foiling is actually really nice. They've done really good foiling. Uh, the last two sets, the Nijigasaki foiling, I loved that. And then here you see like, uh, so good. Really stepped up their game. Now, unfortunately, Magic the Gathering can't seem to get foiling correct. Pringles only around here. Uh, are you splitting your rares? Uh, I, well, I, I didn't. I just split the double R's off. I put the double R's and the rares together. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do that. I just took the double rares. This event seems really good. My first draft, I haven't... Uh, put it in, but I think I'm going to end up playing that. The event seems really busted. I guess a lot of uh, Japanese Twitter is talking about potentially 8Choice being the new uh, meta for Data Live. I'm not sure that this beats out some of the booster pack cards. But I guess maybe if you splice enough of those in, maybe it is worth it. So that'll be interesting to see how this incorporates into that main set. Just because of how meta-defining it was. You definitely get a Ricky, which if you're not playing 8 standby, I think is 100% um, a play. People still on that 8 standby though. So I don't think the Ricky is super worth playing in that deck. But... That might just be me being wrong, which is standard. Wait, can I get... Is that, that's on a recording. Can I have a copy of that? Nope. Find it yourself. I think it's going to be my new ringtone. Oh, so good. Kind of hard to see this one because it's so white. Look at that. Mm, it's like a ghost rare in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, something. So I don't know if I like the foiling for like this card, just because I guess it, I guess the profile pops enough. That's fine, but. Hey, look, I copied you. Busted. It does really accentuate the eyes though. Her um, dual chromatic eyes. This is the, uh, I got money and then I'm going to pull this SP. I don't, I don't want to, but I think that I have a feeling that this is the SP I'm going to end up pulling. I kind of want the Kermi SP because I'm going to have like a seriously debate with myself whether I just sell it or end up keeping it. Um, but the Kermi one does look really good. So we'll, we'll end up seeing whether that's the pull or I don't know what the OFRs look like or whatever the rarity is that the other um, pseudo SP is. You only get one in one per case though, which feels kind of bad to be honest. the real question is like do you splash a bunch of red into this deck for like early plays and other stuff that's like 
my biggest debate for this deck anyway. I feel like I'm getting more green than yellow, which seems yeah, same. crazy, question mark. Did you show the brainstorm off? Hmm? Is this the brainstorm? No, this is the Ricky. This is really good. Um, allowing you to put character to clock really works with your end game. Since you burn based on level. Uh, plus one in the clock So a little bit of way just to put exactly what you're looking for into your clock in order to deal the damage you need to kill your opponent so Deck is going to be fun Thankfully I don't think the set did anything really dummy broken compared to like the previous Dattle set it also didn't do any like game breaking stuff like um that's not where that goes uh the goddess set that's coming out which i don't know exactly what that set's called that that, that set kind of has me worried because it does a little bit of game breaking mechanics in the late game so dal didn't do any of that with this set so i, I like that not that it really needs much, considering. I think this card's really good, because uh, it has a soul trigger on it. Um, it's like a ambush union uh, at level one, unfortunately, but uh, being able to clock to get your finisher is pretty good and then you know resonate and look at top I think this one only looks at three um, or is it clock it might clock swap which seems kind of bad actually I have to, so I guess I just have to go back and reread that unfortunately not prepared. So, I don't even know if I want to play that. That's what that does. It does help your end game, I guess. But. Uh. Hmm. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh. Got SP. You got a Climax SP? Yeah, so there's there's two Climax SPs, one for the gold bar, one for the uh, choice, which is this one. Uh, this was, like, kind of the second card I was hoping to get, but, like, really wanted the 3-2, but pretty good. Sleeve that baby up. So, looks really nice. See that? That is cool. Yeah. Not too shabby. That means I lose. Well, there's one other one you could tie. Oh, the other one's just as valuable? I, I, there's no value on these that I've seen yet. So, we'll open a little bit before street date. Um, but... I think that the, I think the, so my estimate is that this card is probably worth about a hundred. Um, the three, two, I have like, you know, between 150 and 250 because I'm not sure exactly how the market's going to go. And then I have the green ones at like 80 and a hundred for those SPs. I don't know. I don't know what the OFRs look like. 
So I haven't been able to price those. Another little engine for your end game. This also comes out of your clock, which is pretty cool to stage. First time, first one of those, huh? I've heard some stories about people not getting two play sets out of their extra boosters, so I'm hoping that's not a problem here. You know, one foil, one non would be nice. Probably sell the non foil one, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to end up keeping two. But if we don't get two play sets, it's not going to matter. Open the box. Box doesn't want to open. <laughs> I got skills on these ones apparently. Yeah. You're doing alright. I think I'm one box ahead of you. Yeah. Hmm. Get better. Oh. 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 I just pulled two SPs out of this case. You're not supposed to? According to everything I've read, maybe it's one to two? Maybe that's what the... So if you don't get an FGO, you get two SPs? Maybe. Is that the one you wanted? No, this isn't the Kermi, but this is the one I thought I was going to get, so I guess I'm half right. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is the other SP. Uh, see if we can... Really hard to see the sig. But uh yeah, there you go. It's really interesting. Um yeah. I don't know if there's an OFR. But uh huh. I'm just, hmm. kinda kinda puzzled. Kind of a good reason to not to be sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. I know one guy that's going to be uh, pretty happy about that. Shout out, Patrick. Uh, so I guess we'll just end up seeing whether we have an OFR in here still. I guess that that'll be the indicator, right? That's a level three. But uh, I think you cheated. You got How did I cheat? Again. Nope, I think it was evenly divided. Nope, nope, I think you cheated. Uh-huh. There's no way. Yeah, the thing I saw on line said... One slash two SP, one slash two OFR. So I wonder if it's just random. Because other people were commenting that there was only one in their cases. So, huh. Maybe I just got dumb lucky? Not really sure. Be at first for you. Yeah, I mean, my Weiss cases have actually been fairly good. Pretty unsure. I'm actually messaging another guy who's opening right now too. See if he see if he got two SP. So we'll end up seeing what that guy got. tampered with case so it's not a tampering thing which uh please tamper and give me more sps thanks mucho appreciado for that tampering <clears throat> why why am i doing this 
Stop it. I got no answers for you. Looks like we're almost at that full playset of foil double rares. Oh, how'd you get ahead of me? Did you open two? Three. Boston. Hmm. Quite puzzled. Pretty sure I'm fine with it, but quite puzzled. I guess now the mystery is whether there's an OFR, right? I mean, you keep saying that. Or whatever the dumb rarity is. I mean, you probably get one and one, or you get two and two. Or two and zero, question mark. Well, I meant two of one or two of the other. Maybe. And then I find out that the OFRs look like just this foiling and uh, completely miss them. If that's the case, we got even more. Wolf. <sighs> I'm not sure how the memory mechanic is going to work in this set, whether it's going to be a worthwhile engine to run or not. It's kind of like part of my big question mark on the level zero lineup is going to be that. Oh, I got five of this. Two, four, five. Seems good. Wonder if that means we're going to be short on that double rear or if that means we're just fine. Definitely think uh, extra boosters are much faster to open because uh, we're at 20 minutes. And we're started with 36 and we've got like 10 boxes left. So definitely think that's pretty nice. Japanese extra boosters, right? Since Sunshine? No, just Sunshine's the only one. I, yeah, I barely remember opening Sunshine. Like I guess that was like four years ago. It's true. You, you may have opened it with someone else. I think you split it, didn't you? Swat. Sunshine? No. I sold some foils out of it, but that was about it. We could also open it when I was at work. Maybe. I definitely think I missed double rares in these stacks, though. Big unfortunate. How do you mess that up? Because they all look the same. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Well, one has an R and one has a oh, double oh, R. Oh, okay. That's cool. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, so good. Reading, reading English. It's kind of funny that the rarities is in English. It's just a letter. I know, but don't they have letters different? You actually amaze me. I'm supposed to warn me when I say something stupid. Wow. All yellow. Bust.
Definitely more green. It's very confused. Like more foil green. More regular green. I have more rare yellows. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's what it is. Maybe yellow got more double rares. And that's where the disparity is. Hmm. See, Trey and don't. In other news, a whole bunch of Weiss releases today announced. Seems pretty valid i wallet safe but uh you've decided to pick up one new set i guess i like how to pick um it's ironic to pick up girls in a dungeon i'm not i don't have any like super faith characters in it so i don't think i'm gonna go like you know bizarre of foil crazy unless it's like really nice maybe from what i hear it might be the mobile game not sure though. Yeah, and until I see spoilers, I can't make any um ter I can't make any bad decisions until I see spoilers. And then she misses the pre order window. Well, I don't know if I want it yet. I could just buy a play set. Well that's what I thought you were doing. No, I thought I was thinking I'll buy a case. Ah okay. I like spending my money seriously too. Oh, yeah. And luckily, I'm safe because I've been buying a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of sets this round. So the fact that I'm safe in the next round is pretty good. Okay, well, let's just wait until it comes out in English. Don Machi? Yeah. And the question is whether it does or not. Because we know 100% Marvel probably isn't. I mean, I don't really want Marvel anyway. They're taking too much of that stuff and bringing it into this game. Not a fan. Something, something diversifying your buying crowd. I wasn't even behind Godzilla either. Oh, but Godzilla is... Uh, I bought it for you, but I wasn't behind it. Godzilla's fine. When did you buy that for me? I bought you cards. That was, God, that was in Magic. Still? No, it doesn't. Okay, you know what? I I've, was trying to make the yeah, conversation and you had to go in. I did. You know, I helped you search for cards at least. In Japanese? Yeah. I just bought the deck right off um, Yahoo Auctions. And I helped you look for it. Did you? Okay. Did. Yeah, did you read all the Japanese to me? Um, no, but I pretended to. Oh, okay. I mean, sometimes that's half the battle. P-value. Down to my last box. I don't know how you have three of them left. I don't know. I'm gonna pull more foils, question mark. Looks like I'm also sorting a lot more than you are. Possibly. Makes up for all the other times you don't. Um, I sort just as much. And I'm in charge of all the play setting after the fact. That's your favorite part, though. You don't need to know that. Oh, too bad. Literally her favorite part. But opening boxes takes too long. I keep pulling this double rare. <laughs> I keep pulling all yellow ones. That's all I keep pulling. I feel like I didn't pull very many green. Moderately worried. Not really, but moderate. Oh, all green, you busted. How mad would you be if I uh, took a took a took a box of yours and then I pulled the OFR? What would you do? I might cut off your hand. That's not nice. That's not nice. Yeah. Just saying, not nice. I mean, you can definitely have me open, but you're not allowed to open a foil. Nope. I think there's a foil in every pack. You're FYI. Not to open an expensive foil. FYI, foil in every pack. You're not allowed to open an expensive foil. Oh, no, no, okay. Do 
I'm not. Okay. Looks like, yeah, it looks like we pulled a playset of all the double rare foils. Couple of extras. Couple of fives. I'll take it. I guess you don't get points in these either, would be my guess. Because I haven't seen any points. Hoorah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you get two SPs or you get one SP and one OFR. That's going to be my takeaway from this. Maybe you get one SP Climax, one SP Regular Crit, and one. We still have one more box to open. That seems really... Uh, Really neg for buyers if that's the case, because that means that the SPs are going to flood the market. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that a good thing for buyers, bad thing for sellers? Correct. It's good for buyers, bad for sellers. Which, in this case, I'm a seller, so, uh, yeah, because I got nothing in this pack, so. Oh, these look so good, though. Off. Look at that. Look at that foil. It's so good. Nada? No, not yet. I still got like three packs to go through. Ah. Doesn't seem like that method was uh, super helpful in you keeping up. I wasn't trying to keep up. Oh, keep I also have a lot more sorting done than you. Small miracles. Well, while she finishes that, we'll just show off these foils real quick. Uh, look at that. I do really like that. It looks really good. And then the other SP... Yeah, so no OFR, so it looks like uh, you get two, and it's split somehow between SPs and OFR. So that's uh, that's what we've learned. We got two SPs, so that's fairly good. You know, um, looking forward to building and testing this set. Like I said, I think the main question is whether how much of the Old stuff gets used in the decks and not, so that'll be a bunch of testing, I think, for that. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. This was a nice, quick case opening, uh, good old 30 minutes. You know, Go ahead and check out some of our set reviews if you haven't already. Uh, we've been doing those pretty much for every set. Data Live, Data Bullet will probably be up about two weeks after this release, if I had to guess, because we're going to... Try to do a bunch of testing before doing that uh, video. But we do have uh, everything current that came out over the last like month or two. Should be up by the time uh, this case opening. Actually, Nijikasaki won't be till next week. So, you know, keep your eyes open for that. Easily hit that subscribe button. And uh, you'll get notified when we do a new video. You know, hit that like button if you enjoyed. And, you know, we'll see you all in the next one.